Welcome back to Worthy Family Homestead. We're going to take this little road trip this morning. We're going to ride down about two hours east of here and uh, see our friends down at Yoder's. This little Amish store down that way. Well, it ain't really little. They got about everything in the world you could ask for down there. Um, I feel like it's like an old general store from way back in the day because they have everything. But they got a bunch of chickens down there. That's where we got our first group of chickens from several years ago. And they turned out to be a really good bunch of laying hens and they're still doing good now. But our friends and some of our family have been getting a lot of eggs from us lately, and we just really don't have enough chickens to cover everybody. So we're going to ride down this morning and uh, get us a few more chickens and take us a little road trip. And they got a good place to eat breakfast at down here. It's called the Dutch Oven. Some of the best breakfast you will ever have, unless it's what Kim made for us. So we're going to probably get us a little bit of breakfast while we're down here. Uh, those ladies cook everything from scratch, and uh, it's just like eating at Grandma's house. at your destination. There's an egg. Oh, I see an egg. if we just sit the whole cage right here.
we got our new chickens in. They're all getting along pretty good, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how many eggs we get this afternoon. Got a few already from the ones we had this morning, so but they're still kind of laying. It's a little bit early right on. So uh, we'll see what we get this afternoon with all the new girls in here. We did get one egg on the way home, so we got one fresh egg right there already, so we'll see how she does. Might go and eat that right now. Let's just do one more. I'm extra hungry this morning. with the chickens a few minutes ago uh, but we didn't get to eat breakfast down there this morning that's a really busy place especially on Saturday mornings uh, Kim went to the restaurant checked on how long the wait time will be it was an hour and a half so didn't want to let the chicken sit in the truck that long we want to get them all back home and get them used to where they're gonna be at so well we had stuff here at home to eat so we decided to come home and make our own breakfast and so Kim made her some scrambled eggs bacon uh, homemade grape jelly with toast with hoop cheese melted on it and I'm going to have me a breakfast salad with some uh, baby spinach, scrambled eggs, bacon, and cheese. Hello, baby. <laughs> Give her some feeding. Maybe she won't. Here you go, Mama. Oh, Mama. Come here. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Here. Here's the feet. Oh, go away. Go away. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Go away. You think you can find that fence? Hey, go away. Hey girl. What is it? It's a little boy or a little girl. Uh, yeah. I can't hear. Uh, little girl, ain't it? That's a little girl. Little girl. That's a little girl. Hey, buddy. Well, to let y'all know, Omo became my daddy last night on uh, about 10:30, and we got to her because Mama's coming. She's been fed, and she's coming out right here. She's gonna get us. But there's Elmo's little daughter, and um, so we'll have more footage of her later. And um, Aunt, there's kids all over. Andy, we'll have to There's our aunt over there. Right here. Aunt. <laughs> hey, little buddy. There's ants over there. Oh, my. 
my going that way? That comes mama. We get the truck. A while ago, we come see a little new calf. Um, she was laying here in this old wood pile that we got. But where she's laying at, there's some fire ants. So I've got some Promethean tin, which is all I got. And uh, there's a big old red ant right there. He don't like it. But all I got some Promethean tin, so apparently she likes to stay right here. So I'm gonna spray this area down. And I'm gonna see if all the fire ants will go away. I need to get that bob wire up. Okay. That bob wire needs to get up. Where at? Right behind you. Well, this is in that post up there. Watch out, Emily. Got to clean this pasture back up some more until you start having calves out here. Okay. Watch out, dude. Like old bed spring. Uh, old Elmo didn't know what to think last night. He was acting about half crazy. Wanting to run and cut up and kick, but he did good. He didn't bother the baby none. And, uh, had to holler at him a little bit though, because he wasn't quite sure what was going on, I don't reckon. And uh, he was acting kind of funny. He was pawing the ground and all kinds of stuff. But uh, he's been good around the baby today. He's been sniffing over and I knew about believe he's gonna be as protective over as, as old Betsy is. Now Betsy, that's the first time she'd been away from her all day. And uh, she went to eat and I'm sure she's hungry. But uh, that's why we snuck down here and took a quick look while she was not here to find out what kind of, if it was a boy or girl. So, we'll update you on how she goes. Well, I was gonna try to do a little spraying of the fence lines around the houses this afternoon since it cooled off just a little bit and the wind wasn't that bad. But, so I started filling my water tank up with water and decided I'd try to spray nozzle. Sometimes got to bleed there at it, sometimes get it going good. But I got noticing that my pressure gauge wasn't going up all the way like it should be and it was leaking right around the top edge where it goes into the tank. So when I got to look a little further into why it was leaking, uh, when I touched the top of this pressure gauge, it came off. So it had a crack in it somewhere, apparently. It like it had been broke right in there some time ago. I guess all the vibration and stuff after a while. But that's where it was leaking at, and then just as soon as I touched it, it came off. So um, the problem I got now is, is the threads that are on this pressure gauge are in my tank right there. So I've got an old pressure gauge that I can use off another tank but I've got to see if I can get these threads or what's broke off in this valve right here, get it to come out. So uh, try a few tricks and see what I can do because I don't want to buy this whole assembly because they ain't gonna tell what that would cost now. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a little tinker and see if I can get this out.
When all else fails, keep your old parts from your old sprayers are no good anymore. Because that's actually got the valve and all I need. It's already got my pressure gauge in it. So I'm just going to swap it out. See if that'll work. See if we can get everything back to going. So I'm going to take this valve off. All right, well, let's see if that's gonna work. Uh, like I say, cause that being so hard, pla well, it's not hard plastic, but it's such a soft plastic, I can't get that to back out with ease outs. So uh, instead of having to buy this whole new throttle body or valve body, we just took one off my old spray that quit working a long time ago. And uh, we'll see if this works now. All right, I believe that's gonna work. That got our pressure back up. We're not leaking anymore. We can go ahead and uh, throw this old junk here away. It's no good anymore. And uh, got our tip cleaned out. So we're gonna go ahead and finish filling this thing up with water and some poison. And uh, see if we we'll do some spraying before it gets too dark. Folks, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We appreciate you joining us again. Uh, give an update. Elmo and Betsy and Baby are all doing really good. She's got what she's bringing up a little bit closer to the barn now. I know uh, I hadn't thought about this a long time, but I know a long time ago when Grandpa had cows and mess, they'd always want to kind of hide the calves around. That's kind of why she's had, it, had her hid down there at Woodpile down there. But she's brought her up a little bit closer. She's actually in the millet field now. Um, she's kind of got her hidden in some of the high parts over there. So if you look real close, you can see her from time to time. That way Betsy can go out and graze and eat feed with other cows. Again, uh, everybody's doing good and we're glad to finally have one calf on the ground here. 
hopefully in the next few weeks or so, uh, Molly and Daisy will go and have their calves. I think Molly's gonna be the next one. She looks like she's about the closest. And uh, so as soon as she does, we'll let y'all know. Thanks again for joining us. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, we appreciate all y'all do for us. And uh, come back and join us on the next video.